Hello and welcome to the K-Scope podcast, 114, Billy Reeves here. Hope you're well. Music from the new Bruce Sword solo album to come, but before that, out now, Clone. The atmospheric French metal proggers have returned to their roots with Le Grand Voyage. Before we speak to Guillaume, here's Yonder. We have to live Just you and I In this red, blue yonder And real and wild Leave the sweet inception Until we die Leading us together on the other side Shut 
clone yonder. Guillaume spoke to me from his home studio in Paris and I started by asking him how the band got involved with K-Scope. First of all, it's really amazing for Clone to be signed by K-Scope. It's the best label you can have when you are playing rock progressive music. And we are very proud to be the first French band on their catalogue. It's a real chance we have to release a new album with people who are passionate by music. And we are really happy to make part of the family. I think there is a new beginning in our music since the album Here Comes the Sun. There is no return possible for Clone about music. We still want to explore new way more and more. I think since Here Comes the Sun, we have found our own sound. We don't want to sound like the other band. And we do all what we can to make the transmission of emotions possible. That is what we are today, a heavy rock progressive band. And we still want to sound urge when we do a show. About Le Grand Voyage, we, we want it to sound very large, like if we played in the mountain or the cosmos. And for that, we have done a big work on the reverb with the sound guy. We see your music described as introspective quite a lot. What do you think people mean by that? It's a kind of internal journey, like a focus on yourself for a long moment, step by step, until you'll see the light. It is question about what we are, what we do, why the things goes like this way. And everybody needs to do this at one moment. And if you don't want to do it, life will force you to do it. I remember I composed these songs in a strange period of my life and I needed to reach a goal. I remember that I wonder what was so essential for me in the music and the more important is to share something strong with the people, to touch them in their heart, to be sincere in all emotions you put in each musical note. I think um, that the people can feel this truth and uh, this is what I want to share with them. Despite the season We're still unsigned In covenant faces We put up a fire We put up a fire Try 
magazine described Le Grand Voyage as very modern. I'd be really proud of that. I'd like to thank Prog magazine for the great reviews they did. About the meaning of the word modern in music, it's a little bit complicated to understand what it's really mean. Um, is it about the music? Is it about the production? The fact that it's new music? I don't really know what does it mean. It's a question of specialists. Maybe we don't have a word to say on it. Mm, the only decision I can have when I compose it's to try to make something timeless. What's happening in French rock these days? Oh, there is a lot of good things and really cool new bands in France. I don't know what is the French reputation about rock music, because I know by the past it was complicated to find good bands with their own identity. But today we have real good new bands playing good music, so it's cool. And uh, I'm the owner of Clonosphere my label and I discover a lot of young bands because of the label request so I try to help the bands and to do the best to develop their project I can speak about Uncut they just come to release their first single Blue Eyes Lover it's a really good song um, they are playing psychedelic southern rock and the singer is really good uh, we will tour a lot in France with them so it's cool to, to have them on the tour Mm, take a look on it. There is also a very good uh, progressive band like Lizard. They are very good friends. I can speak uh, about Eggman's Chair. It's a really good heavy rock band. It's on Hudge in Live. The Mars Red Sky is also an amazing progressive band. And um, I can speak about Hypnose Music. They are really good and friends of Gojira. So take a look on it and I hope you will like it. Which track on Le Grand Voyage would you say was the most difficult to finish? Um, it's the song The Great Oblivion. Um, we was really not sure to put this song on the album or just like a bonus track. Uh, we were late on the recording session. I remember that it was short for Jan to work on it, uh, too short to find the best ideas possible. And uh, we thought that this song was too heavy comparing to the rest of the album. Uh, until the end, we thought that this song would not be on the CD, you know. Uh, but um, we have finally finished this song, and uh, this this one has something special. No no chorus, but two big progressive parts, and uh, there is something epic on it, and uh, it's not usual for clones music. After the mix of the album, all the people told us to put this song on the album, and the same with Case Cup. And uh, as we are not too born where you can find now the song on Le Grand Voyage. Now, I know you like to keep it as heavy as possible live, and there's touring to be done now, but which member of the group is the sensible one in bed by 11 o'clock, and which member of Clone is up all night rocking? Uh, it's uh, really easy to say it. Uh, Jan the singer will go to bed because he will have to sing, and it's important for his voice to have a good sleep. Um, and Aldrich will probably be the last one to go to bed because he really likes to make the party and uh, to have some fun. But uh, usually we are not crazy on a tour because uh, we are maybe too old for that.
For that hidden passenger from Clone. The album Le Grand Voyage is out now. Les Clones Hommes are out on tour throughout France in October and November, and we look forward to seeing them over here in the UK soon. Formidable. Now, our friend Bruce Sword from The Pineapple Thief lets loose his second solo set into the cosmos on October the 25th. It's a melodic, observational, personal affair with some spectacular playing, inspired by the joy felt by the birth of his third child, juxtaposed by the local deprivation in his hometown. It's entitled All This Will Be Yours, and this song is called The Solitary Path of a Convicted Man. I was awoken I was shaken and mortified In the wake of what I'd done at that time we were inseparable Probably culpable at least For what we would become Oh, this path falls away from you I look around, breathing in the depths of what I've done All this time in the making, you know it was ever taken I took the bet and prepared for them to come
Bruce Sword, the solitary path of a convicted man from all this will be yours. The Pineapple Thief will be playing HRH, Prog, London and Sheffield at the end of October. Then in North America later in the year, check the K-Scope website for details and we'll be hearing from Bruce in the next K-Scope podcast. Time now for some award-winning Russian chamber pop. I am the morning.
I Am The Morning, the title track from The Bell. Mayana, Gleb and their full band are on tour in Europe at the moment and I'll see you at their London show on October the 1st. Now, talking of award winning, we'll finish with some Daniel Tompkins. The Tesseract frontman has a new solo LP out, his first, entitled Castles, which walked away with the Progressive Music Award for Best Artwork, something Dan very proud of. Big credit to Annie Artworks for their creativity thereon, of course. And thanks to Jerry Ewing, Joe Kendall, and all at Prog Magazine for a tremendous night out too. Now, do please like, subscribe, share this The K Scope podcast spread the word about these great artists that I have the great joy and honour of playing and meeting and join us on Twitter at Kscope Podcast or the Facebook Kscope Podcast group Daniel Tompkins Black the Sun see ya